Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to As a Black Man, I Wouldn't Do It. <laughs> this is Theo Vaughn and Funny Marco. Your name's just Funny Marco? All right, on Hilarious Plate Prank. Let's see what this is about. You must be a very funny person to name yourself Funny Marco. Like, you gotta live up to that every time you open your mouth. When you... Bro, when you're asking those people if they had too many plates, bro, oh yeah, yeah, I, I think, can't I mean, believe. Bro, he's got Corral. great teeth. I kind of, I look <laughs> unbelievable. Bro. Yeah, it's kind of like it's like you're a traffic guard for fucking yeah. bullshit, yeah, right? <laughs> you know, like, okay, so basically, the manager had noticed that you've been in here, you've been eating too many plates. No, that's not true. Okay, so how many plates have you ate? And people fall for it, and that's why I tell people it's like a mindset thing. Like this guy right here that they showing. Oh, dude, this is every dude in ever. <laughs> this is I've seen. I've seen this dude a million You're times. You like Stifler, right? In my life, yeah, yeah, bro. What's happening? And I say, and first of all, I haven't been in Golden Corral in years. We used to frequent Golden Corral a lot growing up, like all the time as a family. Uh, I never seen lime green walls in a Golden Corral. This this Golden Corral seems very strange to me. Secondly, Marco has beautiful teeth i just want to go on record and say that third of all these are the type of pranks that like will get you cursed out <laughs> do people think he works there you're it's like awesome. stifler right? in my life yeah yeah bro <laughs> and i say it was like i gotta get him for some reason he had a gun on him too uh -uh. yeah he patted like that whole time he was just like he was like tell him come holler at me oh, <laughs> he was damn, like, bro. So i was like yeah that was the last dude i was like let's get the fuck out of here Tell them to come and talk to me. We'll be good. I'll be sitting right over here. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Okay. Okay. So it was definitely funny, and it's about energy. I knew he wasn't taking no shit. Uh, In the Louis bag, too? Okay, sir. Who's walkie-talkie? What's the walkie-talkie about? Oh, so you can so, Yeah, that is a big thing, reading people's energy and that kind yeah. of stuff. Huh? So sometimes you have to bail out of them because you know the yeah. energy's weird. I bailed that after he kind of like, because uh, I didn't want him sit and think like, or catch on, it was a prank. And then sometimes you tell people it's a prank and make them even more, more mad. mad. So I never yeah. tell nobody it's a prank because now that you embarrass me on camera and yeah. you record it, now I'm, I'm turning it up. Out. So sometimes you just have to walk away and just let it be that and let them find out. The, you know what's funny? What I think about is when they go home and tell the story and they don't know it's going to be viral. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah, some fucking punk came up to me and I had to slap him and he lied and then comes out on camera and it'd be like, bro, this is the one fucking happened. This might be like... Damn. Hey, that dude gets home. He's like, look, Belinda, I got to tell you. I can't, I, we ain't going to the Golden Crown anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You exactly. know? <laughs> they up there. They got a damn uh, yeah, warden up there. Guard. A damn warden. fucking dinner warden. Right. No, but for real, what would you do if somebody came up to you at an all-you-can-eat buffet? You've paid your money to eat all that you can eat, and someone tells you they're counting your plates. Turn up. Turn up. Why are you counting my... Why are you counting my pregnant plates? Why are you doing that? I paid my cash money to get in this line and get as much brisket, mashed potatoes, and popcorn shrimp as I would like. Do you understand? <laughs> no, I these pranks, and you know, more and more increasingly, you see these stories of these pranksters getting injured because they're messing with the wrong people. Golden Corral is not a place to play around, okay? There's too many different types of personalities. And yes, I can go on the record and say this Golden Corral does not look anything like a Golden Corral I've ever seen. So they, they've they rebranded. And now I want to go to Golden Corral. I really do. And he's accused of people that eat too many <laughs> yeah. plates, And they're like, bro, I had to slap the shit out of them. We were like, all you did, y'all can't go back. And then the camera come out. And then he never slapped them. That's one thing I really be like, damn, when people see this... How do they feel? <laughs> and she oh, just so he's saying like they go home and they lie and they're like this guy and I punched him and then then it actually comes out and goes viral and it's like we didn't see a punch. That's not how you reacted. Oh yeah, people love to lie. People love to lie. Our baby, you only yeah. had two plates, yeah. baby. <laughs> right. I know. I fucking know it. Right. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Do um, and it's interesting because I don't think like as a white guy, I wouldn't mm -hmm. be brave enough to go do that shit. I mm -hmm. think like to a black guy, I wouldn't mm -hmm. be brave enough to go do it. It's and it's really about sometimes like it ain't even about the color; it's about the energy. Right, right. At the end of the day, this oh, is that's your, a good. You know what? I appreciate Theo's uh, honesty in that. I think a lot of people like to like act like race doesn't uh, affect who they would do certain things with. And I also respect Marco's um, response too, because I think it, uh, there's a lot of factors and a lot of reasons why you would and wouldn't do certain things with certain people or approach certain people. Like sometimes it could be 
one thing. Sometimes it could be another thing. But I just appreciate the honesty in this conversation. This feels like a very honest conversation that I don't think someone other than Theo Vaughn would honestly say, right? Like, I'm not stepping to no black man and doing that. And, you know what I mean? Like, because someone's like, that's racist. Why not? You know what I mean? But it's like, he know better. I, I told y'all this on that um on that video that I reacted to the miss the not Mississippi where was that the, at the fight the the Alabama Montgomery the chair situation I'm like everybody don't fight the same because everybody don't go through the same things in life so they fight a little different if you know what I'm saying okay all right good point this is the thing like sometimes mm -hmm. we can get so caught up in the motherfucking cover of us but who are they in the inside. True. Because at the end of the day, we still got souls. True. At the end of the day, if I swap and I was in your color, right now we swapped, I would still be me in your fucking color. Yeah. So sometimes this is like some people are naturally assholes. No matter if you black, Mexican, white, or whatever the fuck you are, your soul is going to be your soul. Oh, so the thing wow. is, it's kind of like we are having a moment. So it's oh, really like wow. who you are as a person. That's what I said. Me, I love myself, and I know at the end of the day, I'm going to love what's around me. So the thing with me is like you're innocent until proven guilty. So I don't give a fuck about color. At the end of the day, I see you as a motherfucking person, and this is your image. At the end of the day, who are you inside the image? That's what fucking matters. Gang. If everyone operated that way, the world would be a much better place, but most people don't, sadly. Yeah. Bro, I never really, I've never exactly heard it put to me like, uh, heard it put like that, that is about the person's energy, because sometimes I will, when I'm talking about it, about race and stuff, mm -hmm. I sometimes fall into the trap of saying, of kind of, I don't know if it's grouping people, but mm -hmm. you kind of. This conversation got so real so quickly. I appreciate it. I love a thoughtful moment with Theo Vaughn. Thanks, funny Marco. Saying of kind of, I don't know if it's grouping people, but mm -hmm. you kind of generalize, you stereotype. I'll yeah. stereotype sometimes. Right. But the truth is, it really is about somebody's energy. Some people's energy, yeah. you know, just this ain't the <laughs> Let me go the but other way. But then sometimes you could get, yeah. you're right, because I could go and get, I might be able to find the perfect black guy, the yeah. perfect Mexican woman. And, and then, like, and then that other black perfect. person would be like, if he did that to me, I right. would have. Right. And then the same thing about a white race. They right. say, if he would have tried me, I would have. Yeah. So you got the would have. Right. Okay, fucking big deal. I didn't do you. Right, and so, there's a reason I didn't do you because yeah. I know the energy yeah. and my energy. energy at the end of the day, it's match, ain't so. at the end of the day. It's not worth losing your life doing a prank. Or at the end of the day, I try people that's going to go home. I'm going to cuss you out. I'm going to go home to my family. I'm not trying to fuck with somebody that's trying to lose it all <laughs> right. over telling me I got too many. Right. You know when someone has nothing to lose. Nothing. Go the other way. <laughs> Please. Like, no, I don't even want to fuck with you. At this point, Over no, some plates. nobody should fuck with you, you know? So it's just like, you don't want to fuck with nobody that's ready. It's like going to a volcano, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to hold fuck on, with Hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me how, because suddenly we in Hawaii, bro. I'm listening. <laughs> but suddenly we in Hawaii. So how is it like going to a, a, a volcano? Volcano, you, when you know, it's different ones. You know when one's about to erupt. Oh, I'm yeah. not about to go fuck <laughs> yeah, with you. Yeah, I'm not going on that bitch that's shaking. Yeah, <laughs> even when animals at the zoo, I'm not walking up to a tiger that's going crazy. I go to the convoy. And yeah. just pray that I get the best results. Yeah, I go to that bitch on Xanax. Over yeah. There. <laughs> Give me that kid. Yeah. Yeah, that's so, the one. I really oh feel God. like that's why I push this a mindset thing. Because it's really about your mind. And that's what people have to start looking at that. Sometimes yeah. it's not even about the fucking color. Because at the end of the day, you got Nikes, you got Reeboks. But guess what? They still shoot. Sneakers. They do different shit. But at the end of the day, you're going to wear them. We are still the same fucking people. We just have our, we do have our different images and colors. But inside, who the fuck are we? Right. I was not expecting this theological conversation like <laughs> what over yeah, place because i get like i think i know Golden that Corral. right but it's hard sometimes because nobody look at it like that right i haven't ha i've never heard it put like that mm -hmm. so i've never really been able to put it kind of into that sort of context or words you know because mm -hmm. um yeah and that just it's just like some people you kind of match up with and then some people you don't you yeah. know especially if you're trying to run uh, if you're trying to run a prank or somebody or on somebody right um yeah, that one, the one you did, because some a, a lot of my audience may know you, a lot of them may not, right? And that's just the way that social media is, mm -hmm. right? Um, what do I need to be watching a funny Marco? What prank star is he out here doing? Uh, I watch him and his beautiful teeth make me laugh for sure. Let me know in the comments. This didn't go the way I thought it was gonna go. I mean, we saw a little bit of the prank, but this got like this was a real conversation between two men just sharing their perspectives in life, and I thought that was great. Great. All right. Go and have the day you deserve. Peace.